Hello and welcome to iCreate Evo. This is a tutorial video that will cover how to make a spiral staircase. If you are into 3D modeling, animation and visual effects then consider subscribing. Let's get into this. We will start with the standard blender cube as usual, no need to break a habit. Let's start by changing the size of the cube to a more suitable stair type shape. I will use one of the standard commands for object manipulation, S for scale, and an axis to keep the object from being scaled uniformly. Press S for scale and then an axis letter, either X, Y or Z. I will use incremental snapping to position the step onto the floor. Press 1 on the number pad for front view and then press G for grab, and then X for the X axis. Move until the step is on the red line. Now we can add the banister. Press Shift plus A for the add menu. Select mesh and then cylinder. Set the vertices to 64 and then scale the cylinder, then move to a suitable position. Set the snapping to vertex and make sure the magnet is turned on. Grab the cylinder on the Z axis and make sure to hover over a vertex inline with the top of the step. This will ensure that the banister sits on the step correctly. Now select the banister and press tab to enter into edit mode. Make sure face select is enabled by pressing 3 on the top row of numbers on your keyboard. Now press G for grab and then Z for the Z axis. Move the top of the banister to your desired height, left click to confirm. Press Ctrl and R for loop cut. Scroll the mouse wheel until three loops appear, left click to confirm choice. Now you can move the loops up or down, left click to confirm, or press escape to keep their original position. To select the complete loop hold Alt, then left click on the loop. It will pick an edge loop if you are not on the loop cut. Once you have selected the loop then press S for scale, then scale the loop to add detail to the banister. Repeat this process until you have added enough detail on the loop cuts. Tab out of edit mode back into object mode. Select the banister and press shift plus D for duplicate, then press Y to move on the Y axis, left click to confirm your desired position. Now we can add the rail. Press shift plus A for the add menu. Select mesh and then cube. Scale and position the cube so that it looks roughly like a hand rail. Once happy, duplicate the rail and position it on the other banister. Left click and hold, then drag a selection box over all of the objects for the staircase. Once all of the objects have been selected, select object from the top menu and then join. This will combine all of the objects into one object. This is required for an array modifier otherwise it becomes very difficult to align the separate objects. Time for the array modifier. Go to the modifier properties to the right, looks like a wrench. Click the add modifier button, then select generate and then array. Looks like my array is being put in front of my original object. This is easy to sort, make the number in the x factor a minus. Change the z factor to 1 to elevate the array. Due to the stair shape the array will need some offset to bring it back in line. Adjust the distance x and z in the consistent offset to bring the steps in line. Once the steps are in line you will have to adjust the handrail to line up. To select just the handrails, select the stairs and press tab to enter edit mode. Once in edit mode you can select the handrails by moving the mouse over the handrail, then press L for select linked. For the second handrail, hold shift when pressing L to select both handrails. Now adjust the offset of the array and the rotation and size of the handrail until they align correctly. Once aligned it's just a matter of changing the array count to adjust the height of your staircase. If you find my content useful then please like, follow, share, and comment. Now comes the fun part, time to make the staircase spiral. First thing to do is add a curve object. Press shift plus A for the add menu. Select curve and then circle. Now head over to the modifier properties menu. Minimize the array modifier by clicking on the show more arrow. Click on the add modifier button. Then select Deform and then Curve. Click on the eyedropper icon for the curve object selection. With the eyedropper activated select the Bezier Circle object that you added earlier. As you can see it has worked but a little too tight, so now all we have to do is adjust the diameter of the Bezier curve and the array count to get the height and spiral we want. To change the diameter we select the Bezier Circle, then press S for Scale, adjust the diameter to change the spiral of the staircase. If you make the diameter larger then the staircase won't reach as high without adjustment. Remember to change the height of a staircase adjust the array count property. 
If you would like a semi-circle staircase, then the best option is to look at the staircase from above by pressing 7 on the number pad, adjust the diameter roughly, then adjust the array count to get the top step in line with the bottom step, thus creating a semi-circle staircase. At this point it's a good idea to have a play around with the settings. Change the diameter and raise the array count, I got up to 165. As you can see lowering the diameter of the bezier circle and not changing the array count the staircase will increase in height. Now I'm just going to add some materials to the staircase and change the colors and complete a final EV and cycles render. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of my new content. Thank you for watching, see you soon.